We begin tonight at six with the latest updates on a tense situation in North Buffalo this morning that ended up with a man being shot by police. Good evening. I'm Mary Ellis Demler. Hello again. I'm Scott Levin. This all started with a call to police not far from Shoshone Park. Channel 2's Claudine Ewing spoke with police about it this afternoon. Claudine. Scott and Mary Ellis, it was definitely very tense. Buffalo police encountered this man with a knife. In the end, a man was shot multiple times by police outside of his apartment building. It happened here on Hurdle Avenue around 430 this morning. Police say a man was in the stairwell of this apartment building and he did have a knife. He started coming at the cops and they got out, got out realizing that the man was really having a mental health crisis. Once out, outside, the man kept coming at the officers with a knife and they then opened fire. He was struck in both hands, ankle, uh, neck, and I think his side. Uh, there were multiple uh, gunshots. And as I said, he's in stable condition, thankfully. Just on body cam? It's all on body camera. We've watched the body camera from multiple angles and officers all had their body cameras on. Our behavioral health team uh, works the day shift. They started at eight o'clock, they were not there. Um, what I can say is that our behavioral health team has engaged this individual, uh, our officers in the past. The 31 year old man was taken to ECMC for a mental health check just last Wednesday. Now, while there, he had an incident with hospital police. He's now in serious but stable condition at ECMC. Ironically, he was just at that hospital. As we mentioned, the officers, however, were not injured. The responding officers did not have tasers. Tasers are now being given out in the department. So far, just under 200 officers have been trained to use them. The man has not been identified, but he could face criminal charges. The officers are currently on paid administrative leave. That is part of police policy. In the Information Center, Quadine Ewing, Channel 2 News.